गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स द टॉपिक दैट वी विल डिस्कस टूडे इज जीनोमिक लाइब्रेरी इन मॉलिक्यूलर बायोलॉजी लाइब्रेरी इज कंसिडर्ड टू बी अ कलेक्शन ऑफ मॉलिक्यूल्स इन देयर स्टेबल फॉर्म व्हिच रिप्रेजेंट्स सम एस्पेक्ट ऑफ एन ऑर्गेनिज्म देयर आर टू कॉमन टाइप्स ऑफ लाइब्रेरीज द फर्स्ट आर कॉल्ड एज जीनोमिक लाइब्रेरी and the second are called as cdna library today we'll be discussing genomic library which contains dna fragments representing the entire genome of an organism there are five major steps in the preparation or construction of a genomic library which we'll be discussing one by one the first step in the construction of genomic library is isolation of whole genomic dna from an organism by using a standard protocol second step involves cutting the dna with restriction enzyme as we know restriction enzymes recognize specific base pair sequences in dna called restriction sites and cleave the dna by hydrolyzing the phosphodiester bond the third step involves ligating the dna into a suitable cloning vector to create a recombinant dna molecule and various types of cloning vectors can be used The next step in the construction of a genomic library is to transform the recombinant DNA that is the cloning vector plus the DNA fragment into a host that will replicate and transfer copies to the progeny. This diagram shows an overview of the construction of a genomic library. First of all the DNA that is genomic dna is isolated from the cells second this genomic dna is digested with the help of restriction enzyme in the next step the dna fragments or the cleaved dna is ligated into a suitable vector thereafter this recombinant dna molecule is inserted into the bacteria which leads to amplification of the genomic dna library after this dna isolation can be done for the collection of or formation of genomic dna library the last step in the construction of genomic library is the screening of genomic library in this step once the genomic library has been created it is screened to identify the genes of interest one of the most commonest library screening technique is called as colony hybridization whereas if in the process of library construction phage vectors are used then the process is called as plaque hybridization colony hybridization is defined as a method of selecting bacterial colonies with desired genes in this process of colony hybridization the steps are growth of cell colonies transfer onto filter followed by hybridization and the identification of desired plaque hybridization is a technique in which the plaques are screened by a technique based on hybridization of oligonucleotide probe to the target dna procedure of plaque hybridization is quite similar to that of colony hybridization the technique involves hybridizing isolated phage dna to a labeled probe for the gene of study this is followed by autoradiography to detect 
the position of the label. These are some of the applications of genomic library. Thank you students.